January day six. Yay! Right? <laughs> I'm really enjoying Veganuary this year. We're keeping it cash. A lot of people have been asking about uh, quick lunches that they could bring to work or put together quickly. This you could actually put together fairly quickly, but you could also do it the day before. Keep it in the fridge when you're ready to go. Just You could eat it hot or cold. So it's going to be tuna salad, but it's going to be made with jackfruit. Ooh. So everybody knows who goes to Trader Joe's, they have green jackfruit in brine now. Very convenient. You don't have to hunt down a, uh, an Asian store anymore to try and find this because it was a bit elusive before. Make sure you get the green jackfruit. If you get the one that looks like mango, it's not going to work in tuna. That's for eating like a dessert. This is uh, for doing savory dishes, the, the green young one. So I was going to do two cans and then I was like, wow, one can <laughs> That's a lot. lot. So I'm just doing one can today. So what I did, I just opened it, I drained out the brine, I rinsed it, and it comes in like these little wedges. I just used my fingers to break it apart. You could slice it. But when you use your fingers to break it apart or even like a fork to like mash it, you get these nice shreds that kind of look like, like tuna. tuna. Right. You could even um, do this as a chicken salad, I think, if you didn't add this, which is going to make it taste fishy. So if you leave out the fishy thing, you can make it taste like chicken if you put in a little bit of uh, bouillon powder, I would think, like a chicken bouillon. But we're doing fish today. You could do this on a sandwich. You could do this in a baked potato. That's like a huge British thing that I did not realize that they like to eat tuna or chicken salad in potatoes. Interesting. It is interesting. It sounds really good too. I want to try it. Not today though. We're having a sandwich. So I'm uh, going to light my oven, my stove, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it on medium. I'm going to use um, the best oil for your heart, which is algae oil. You could use any oil though. But I like this one. I like avocado oil. So we're just putting about a tablespoon in there just so it doesn't stick. And as soon as the pan gets hot, which is pretty quick with this uh, stove, we're going to put our jackfruit in here. And we're also, sorry for the scrapes. Is that sending chills? <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. Yeah. All right. So with this, spread it out a little bit. Spread the love. And as it's cooking, if you see any parts that you didn't get, just mash it with a spoon. It's really soft for the most part. If there's any hard parts in there, take it out because you don't need that. You don't want anybody biting down on that and ruining their day. We also cut up um, a pickle here. I have this really nice garlic pickle mm -hmm. that I've put in. The sucker punch pickle is everything. So we've got some gourmet spicy garlic um, pickles here. They're really good. We're also going to add um, some dulse granules. If you can't get your hands on these, you can use some nori sheets. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going to put like, I mean, if you like a lot of fishy taste, put a lot. I'm putting like, I don't know, it's probably like a half a teaspoon, right? Yeah. You put a half to a teaspoon depending on how fishy you want it. So you're just going to want to cook this for five to ten minutes until it really starts to dry out and the flavors start to combine. If you've got some capers, you might want to throw some capers in there too. It'll add a nice tangy flavor to that. I thought I had some, but I don't. So I won't be putting any in today, but I think some capers would add to it. So I'll just cook this down for a couple more minutes. All right, so our main objective here is just to have the flavors marry, to dry it out quite a bit because we don't want it to be soggy. We don't want this to be browned at all. We just want it to be dry. So we're all, <laughs> so what do we do? We add more liquid. <laughs> we're just going to put like a tablespoon of lemon juice and like a tablespoon of uh, liquid aminos or uh, low sodium soy sauce which is also going to add to the flavor. We'll just cook this a few more minutes and let it cool down in the pan because as the pan cools down also it's going to help it dry out in the pan. So two more minutes, three more minutes 
turn the heat off, let it sit in the pan and cool off, and then we'll make our tuna salad. Right, guys, sorry for the wind noise, but I'm uh, crisping up some tofu right now because I'm cooking dinner. But uh, let's finish this off. We're going to add some cracked pepper. <laughs> this one's so hard to do. There we go. I'm not going to add any salt because I think the soy sauce um, added quite a bit of saltiness plus the brine on the jackfruit is a little bit salty. So I don't want it too salty. I'm going to add about a quarter, yeah about a quarter to a third of a cup of vegan mayo. And I'm just going to give it a mix. And you can eat this just like this. You could let it sit in the fridge. This is one of those things that'll be better the next day even once the flavors have more of a chance to uh, get to know each other. We're going to put this on a sandwich and we're going to give it a taste. We might have to add a little salt. We'll see what happens though. Probably not. Right, there we go. It's all fancified. It's beautiful. You're actually going to have one on an English yeah, muffin. Yeah, I got an English muffin in the toaster right now. So why don't you give it, put a little tear into that. <laughs> Let's see. I just what it's tasted all about. it and I think it could go either way, chicken or tuna. Yeah. Like a real Jessica Simpson moment. Is, Is this, this chicken? Fish that I'm having yeah. or chicken. Right. Mm. Yeah, it could be either one. It could be either one, right? It's mm -hmm. so subtle. So I guess if you really wanted it more fishy, just mm -hmm. add more dulse. No, it's and <laughs> that's yours. I'm having one of my own. Okay. That's very good. All right, so that's a nice quick lunch yeah, idea. Yeah, very easy to put together. Could be a dinner idea if you uh, serve it up on a baked potato. Yeah, and this is one of those things that's great for making your lunch tonight before because it's only going to get better right. with time. Right. And the seasoning. <laughs> and it's all ready to go. Yes. So you just do it the night before. And you grab and go. Yay! So guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick lunch slash dinner recipe. Uh, again, keep leaving it in the comments if you've got questions for a future Q&A or more uh, videos you want to see in Veganuary. And we're going to be there for you. So thanks for watching and until next time, much love.